So in F1 24, how do you make a custom driver? Now, there is unfortunately no normal mode with this. It is just solely in career. So if we go into the career, you'll see that there is a few options. You've obviously got my team career, take control and drive for your very own team, which is pretty cool in itself. Two player career, so if you wanted to do a co-op, you've got a challenge career, but the one for the actual custom driver is going to just be in a normal career. So already we can make the custom driver in either of them. So if you wanted to start in F2 and you wanted to be a, a proper noob, what's a noob or a newbie, I suppose, into the career, you can start in F2 or you can skip to straight uh, F1 if that's what you're interested in. And you can still make a character in both of them. We also then have the custom season or the full season. We're just going to go there. And then you can obviously change your settings depending on what you want. Now the recommended and into confirm settings, this is where we get to go into the driver. So we can either have an official driver, which if you're in F1, you might want to do if you're doing a specific career. Career, or you can make your own custom now we are in here you've got create your own identity so we're going to start off with the driver as you can see we've got the avatar to begin with so there is only so many options that you can go with this the the, the main kind of prospect of the creator driver is not necessarily in full fledge it is very much bug standard in terms of an avatar um, you are literally going on presets more than anything as realistically it, it it does and it doesn't matter what your driver technically looks like. You can obviously go male or female, I believe. Was there female drivers? Load this up. Yes, there is. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure there is. So you just go with whatever. Because realistically, you've got a helmet on. You're in the car. You don't see them anywhere else. But you can still make one if you really wanted to. And you can drive with them in your normal F1 world as well. Once you've made them, that is. So then you've got the country region. So you can obviously go other. Or you can just go pick a flag. We then also have got the name. So you can obviously imprint your name onto it. So we just call this, say, JT to start with. And, oh, okay. Forgot it was first and last. Uh, initials, three letters, uh, J, T, one. Beautiful. Perfect. Of course. Then obviously you've got the audio name. You can obviously then pick in whatever they'd basically do on the radio to you. Um, and then we also have the driver number. So we can obviously go for all of the numbers, whatever you want. Um, and you can just basically pick. Can we not? Oh, is it all the numbers that everybody's not? Oh, that's very interesting. Okay, so I can't pick 11. Who's 11 and who do we have to get rid of? Uh, but that is pretty much all you got to do for a driver to avatar. Once you've gone then, you can advance. Hey. We can then go into, obviously, the rating side of stuff. So we have helmets and emotions. So you can obviously pick your own color scheme as well, which is really cool. Um, but that will be later on down the line because, obviously, you've only got... Um, oh, no, in fact... Oh, that's weird. Oh, so you just have to do it this way. So you can obviously go with the color scheme here. So you can obviously change and then we change into the colors. So we go with, for instance, we move this off and we can change it a little bit further down. We can put this into blue. We can then change this away from pink. And it, as you can see, it will change each of like the helmet's side. So if we go saturation and we bring this down... That's going to bring that down. And as you can see, if we move it a bit more up, we bring this over here. We can obviously make it into the color that we actually want. So if you want it a bit darker, then you can obviously do that. And then you can move this wherever you want as well. And then if you move that and that, you'll see there's very, very light red lines there. But there is some bits that you can't unfortunately do. So we've got the color scheme there. That's going to be the helmet. We also then have the podium emotes. So you can obviously only have one at the moment. You can change this and you can get new stuff as you progress through then we obviously have the academy select as well so we can obviously go through which academy we'll want i don't know if this is going to be available in f1 but it definitely is in f2 um so we can obviously go with something like ferrari if we really want and then you can advance in we then obviously pick the team that we want to be with um so if you want to make your own team then that's obviously going to be in the other side so we're going to go with here beautiful so that is going to be everything to how create your own person and um, we will have to pick i'm assuming who we're going to uh oh we're going for as a teammate so i'm going to go with uh with him why not that's going to be the first fit let me know how you get on with it and hopefully we get some more kind of driver recommendations or driver career mode updates in the next one